Images and sounds of the January 6th insurrection on the U.S. Capitol. Now forever etched into the picture of democracy. Where are we going? Fueling the question, should the People's House and those who work there be more secure? The immediate answer, obvious, easy, and wrong, is to build a fence, wall it off from the people. The conversation surrounding capital security isn't new. From bombing attempts throughout the 20th century to the wake of the September 11th attacks, violence in this building has historically been met with calls to tighten security measures. Every time, so far, Congress has come back together and said that is not who we are. But could this time be different? How much is too much when we talk about the kind of protections? The insurrection that ultimately took five lives is already being examined by Congress. It was not just an attack on the building. It was an attack on our republic itself. The House and Senate both wasting no time questioning experts. Who, who exhibited the poor judgment? And ousted Capitol security officers. No civilian law enforcement agency, to include the United States Capitol Police, is trained or equipped to repel an insurrection of thousands of individuals. Behind the scenes, I want to I want to see good intelligence being gathered. USA! Acting on intelligence is exactly what former FBI Assistant Director Chris Swecker believes isn't happening at the Capitol. Here's the gap that we have right now. I think the agencies that are charged with gathering information about domestic, intel, you know, domestic terrorism just don't have the, the coverage. Swecker also wants to see visible security measures enhanced outside the Capitol, but that doesn't mean keeping the public out. Not being able to get in to see our democracy in, working in, live and in person is, is, I think, goes against our, you know, our, our grain as Americans. As the investigation drones on, a fence still stands hanging over the Capitol dome. A question, will normalcy ever return? Sarah Blake Morgan, The Associated Press.